Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with a new review for Dragon Ball Super. It is episode 86. This episode, all I can say is one of those episodes, once you watch it, you are satisfied with it, you're done, you want to move on, but there's still part of you that may want to replay it or rewatch it on certain scenes and this one of those episodes. This episode is just that. I'm giving you my conclusion right now. This episode is great. Now, this episode is basically Android 17 versus Goku. We get to see Android 17 as a ranger. Also, well, before that, then they actually help to locate him because Goku cannot locate him due to his body not emitting energy. So then they had to help him and so they went to this uh, actually the lookout tower traveled where traveled above where the island where number 17 is residing at. Anyways, so Android 17 and Goku basically team up to get these to Stop these poachers. I'm not even sure of these poachers because they look like an army. They look like they're about to take over a country. And I can't believe they're poachers. They got tanks. They got machine guns. They got rocket launchers. Woo! Is it, like I said, it's a basically an army, a military, whatever you want to call it. And so, we but the best part of this episode is Goku versus Android 17 on the sunset we get to see action sequences great action sequences great abilities great techniques and great fighting we actually get to see a potential number 17 so that was great you know he's going to be strong we don't know how strong because these two does not show it but from what we've seen then he could definitely be I mean he can definitely stand on his own that's for sure not only that Goku had to turn blue just to see or how much number 17 got and so he was able number 17 was able to stand on his own so that was absolutely great especially defending himself from the Kamehameha wave so that was great not only that and so we actually get to see the personal side of number 17 he has three kids two adopted and one on his own he has a wife but here's the thing he's a ranger he takes care of animals and you know what that reminds me of number 16 or was it number 819? Well, in any case, the big green android. I forgot on top of my head what number he was. Anyways, he loved nature. And so maybe that's what that's where the inspiration came from. That number 17 is doing his job to take care of creatures, animals, and so and so. So maybe that's where he got his inspiration from. But he also said that he does not want to be part of the tournament, even if it, even if the universe is at its stake. And so after that, we get to see some alien ship above Earth about to poach animals, and that basically concludes the episode. I guess the directors of Dragon Ball Super is trying to make episode to give reasons for every character to join in. Uh, that, this, the pacing is really slow when you do it that way because I cannot believe it will take two episodes just to convince 17 to join in. But I mean we'll see how it goes. This is the same series that brushed the Trunk Saga arc which I was not happy about. So what do I basically think of this episode again? This episode is one of those episodes that you're done, you're satisfied, but there's still a little bit of part of you that wants to go back and watch certain scenes and you know what that scene is all about. And so that basically concludes my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 86. I will see you on the next episode review. Bye bye.